BTI Box sent me some soft gel kits. At this point, I'm so used to press on those from BTI Box because that's all they've been sending me for the past few months. But I have been seeing these soft gel kits lately on social media. So let's just see what we got. So we have two. Yeah, I wonder if they gave me two of the same thing. Couldn't have. Oh, this is different. So I'm not gonna lie, I thought these were gonna be just plain Jane clear tips. So they give me already done French tips with a new base. So uh, we don't even gotta do our nails today. We can add a little extra if we want to, which is probably what I wanna do. Y'all know I like to add my own little frazzle dazzle to it. But that is what we have right there in the first little box. Let's put this box to the side. So we have the nice little blue French tips. And then here we have a little mini LED lamp. And I wanna tell you guys more about what I feel about these little mini LED lamps later. But I definitely feel like when it comes to curing things, especially curing gel on your nails, you're gonna need more. Look at me, I'm ripping the box. But you're gonna need more than these little cheaper LED lamps. I can't even open the box with my long nails, Lord. Okay, there we go. I feel like it's cool to flash cure with this, but you wanna make sure that it's cured through and through. But I wanna show y'all what I do once I apply the nails. But this is the solid gel glue. We're gonna use that a little later to adhere the nails to our nails. And then the only thing that's left is the nail file here. And then of course we have, oh, this is builder gel. So this looks like a base, I wanna say. It just says X coat tips builder gel one. And then this says top coat, but this says two. Okay, so I'm, what, I'm gonna say this is a base. We'll see if they have directions in here then I can know for sure. Okay, and now for if I had to guess, I would guess that these are like just a different style or color. Different style, okay. These have the cat eye design on them. But I wonder how well does this cure? Like it has a solid base, so it's a solid color. Basically, the more clear your nail tip is, the better it will cure under the UV lamp or LED. Oh, so I'm a little scared about using gel with those, but I'm gonna see about that later. And then it has all of the same little pieces that the other box have. Long story short, in their kits, in their soft gel kits, they give you some press-on nails, some of their press-on nails, the gel glue, UV nail lamp, a nail file, and then the top coat, and then the builder gel. I think it's a nice kit as long as these cure the way they're supposed to. So basically the reason why I'm making like such a big deal about these curing properly is because lately um, people have been complaining about getting allergies to gel. And from what I've been reading and seeing, you get this allergy because the gel doesn't cure all the way through and then that uncured gel just sits on your nails while you wear the nails and that commonly happens when you have a uv nail lamp that the wattage isn't as great so you definitely want to be mindful of that whenever you're buying these kits and you're doing your nails at home so here are they this is how they look outside of the box and honestly i love the cat eye sometimes the the base color like the these darker colors does not cure all the way, especially with these cheap flash curing lamps. So I want to test that out right now. So I'm just going to take this top coat right here that came with the kit and I'm going to put two coats of it on my nail just so it's like super easy to pop off so we can really see what goes on underneath the nail. I wanna go ahead and cure that. But what I really wanna do is just see what goes on underneath the nail after we've already cured with the flash curing lamps. So this is the gel glue here. Put a few dabs of the gel glue right there at the top, just a few. That should be enough. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and put this on there and cure it. After it cures all the way, I'm gonna leave it under there for 
say 60 seconds. And after it's done, I'm gonna pop it off and we're gonna see if the gel actually cured all the way through underneath. We already cured and everything and it's on there. It's on there really, really good. But that can be deceiving sometimes because it can still be not fully cured underneath. All right, and with that, I should be able to just take it off. Okay. So that's actually really, really good. So it is fully cured. So y'all see this little piece right here? That is the gel glue. And that's all the way cured. If it wasn't cured, it will be still gel kind of swishing around in there. So I'm glad I did that test because I was a little nervous about these being so like such a solid color and kind of a darker color. It doesn't always happen. That's why I'm glad I tried it out. But just to be safe, whenever you flash cure with a lamp, such as this one, you want to make sure that you also cure it again underneath a professional UV nail lamp or LED nail lamp. That way you're making sure that it cures all the way down. More moments later. Ooh, we took our nails off, off camera. Well, not really off camera because I filmed it for Instagram and TikTok. I think I want to do this nail set on my dominant hand. My nails look a little rough after soaking, honestly. So don't mind that. I've been thinking long and hard about which ones I wanted to do for this video. And I think... We're gonna go cat eye this time. But of course, I want to do something extra on my nails. So we're gonna do a little design on them. I think that one's pretty good for that one with a pointer. And I'm just gonna lay them off to the side as I find them. I wanna do the design off of the nail though. So I got my little nail stand from Sheet In here. And this is the file that came with the kit. I'm just gonna file down that little tab right there. Just file that right on off. Cause we don't need her here. All right, easy peasy. For the actual nail design, I'm thinking about this. And then with the cat eye in the background, I feel like that'll be kind of cute. So let's try it. So I'm just gonna take a wipe, a little heart wipe, look how cute have this alcohol here and I'm just gonna wipe down the nail before I start doing any nail art. And this is actually what the directions say to do if you're gonna do nail art. It says clean the nail tip surface with alcohol pad. So I want the design to be kind of like this. We're gonna see how we can put that on a small tiny nail. So I have this metal embossed gel and I want the smiley faces to be outlined in this silver. Look at that. Yes. I have this liner brush. This is an eight millimeter and then this is a four millimeter. Whoa. I'm gonna try the shorter one. Let me grab some down here. The thing about this is it could be any little shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know if I wanted it to be that big, but yolo. I always feel like the thumb is the finger that I can make the most mistakes on because who really pays attention to the thumb like that, honestly. Let's cure this one for about 30 seconds. No, cut back on, thank you. So I want the second one to kind of be the puzzle piece to this one. Going in like that and out. That's like the same exact shape there. Ugh, I don't like that. All right, let's try this again. Let's just wipe all that off. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Go up in there and out. 
Okay. Do I mind that? I don't think I mind that. shoot i messed up a bit there but honestly i'm filling this in anyways so nobody gonna see that i've been sitting here contemplating on what color i should fill the smiley faces in with because i don't know i wonder if purple would be a good color wouldn't hurt to try and see i honestly thought this purple was going to be a little lighter but it could still work maybe you want to know something that i just noticed <laughs> since i'm adding an extra layer of gel polish i wonder if this will affect how well this will be cured whenever i try to glue it onto my natural nail so we gotta do something about that so cute though i'm gonna finish this up and then i'm gonna test something right quick <laughs> I just made a whole bunch of random blobs on here just to mimic what I'm gonna do on each nail to make sure that this is safe to do and it's curing all the way through. I put three coats this time. Ooh. And place that on there and cure. Okay, I left it under there for 60 seconds. So let's see, I just pop it off. Yes. And did it cure all the way? <sighs> Looks like it did, so we're good to go, y'all. There is no gel that's not cured, so we're good. Now let's continue. I think I wanna do just some little blobs of the chrome, just kinda like, floating around. Just random little blobs. They don't have to be big, big. And I'll do them throughout the whole set. Look at the whole set. This actually did not take me that long to do and it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie but first i have to prep and i'm just going to buff out my nail really fast just like that and i already pushed back my cuticles so I'm not gonna do that on camera right now, but but just know to push back your cuticles, get some alcohol, and just dehydrate that nail plate. I'm gonna go ahead and put primer on my nails because I really want these to last me a good while. This is Super Bond by Valentino that I'm using. I'm gonna follow whatever these directions say. So basically, Prep your nails, which we did that. Remove the extra cuticles, buff the surface, remove the dust and oils with the alcohol pad. We already did that, so we could check that off. Um, I dehydrated with alcohol and I put primer on, so check. Match nail tips to the perfect size. Add a layer of gel nail glue for maximum adhesion. No curing needed. What? So right here, apply at a 45 degree angle to the base of the nail. Press the nail tips until the glue reaches the free edge. Flash cure for 15 seconds while pressing the nail tip. So we're gonna skip all that and go to part six. 
because that's what we want to do. I'm going to get out our flash curing LED lamp. So you can also buff out the inside of the press on nail. That always helps keep it on a little bit longer. But I'm going to go ahead and add the gel. I'm going to do just four little dots. And let me do one more right in the center there. And this is the solid gel glue. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Place it right there. And then I am just going to go ahead, press it down and cure. They said 16 seconds, but I'm gonna go for 30. And that's actually on pretty good, but this is what I do to make sure it is fully cured underneath. I let it bake for a little while more, 60 seconds more to be exact, underneath my Kiara Sky um, LED lamp. And voila, looks pretty nice. Now we have to put a top coat on it. So it looks like we have to apply nail builder gel to the surface before we put the top coat. Okay, let's get this builder gel. Ooh, right. And I'm just gonna put one coat of this. Ooh, and we're starting to see that cat eye. That looks really, really good. Probably not the correct way to apply builder gel, but hey, I really never dealt with builder gel before, so. And now, top coat. And we are all done. So here's the finished look. I actually love the way these turned out. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about them in the comments down below. So these kits, I actually got them from BC Art Box. They gifted them to me. So I actually don't know where to find them. I looked all over the BT Art Box site and um, on Amazon and I could not find these specific uh, nail tips that came with the kit. But I did find some of the kits on the BTR box site here they are right here and i found some on amazon some of them vary in prices for whatever reason but um you can look in the description and see what it includes and what it don't include so yeah process of elimination but i will provide the closest kit that i can find on the btr box site in the description down below so you guys can find it easily and i will provide some of the kits that i found on amazon on my amazon storefront so before the video goes out, I just want to leave you guys with a few tips to make sure that you're curing that gel all the way through when using a kit like this. Number one, you want to make sure that you are double curing. So you can flash cure with these little cheaper nail lamps that comes with the kit, but you want to make sure you cure it again using a professional UV nail lamp or LED nail lamp um, for about 60 seconds. And you want to make sure you're not putting a ton of gel glue on that nail so it can cure right on through. I find these little tubes of gel glue easier to manage than the brush on gel glue. So yeah, I love the tubes. Just put four or five dots of that glue and you're good to go. But yeah, that is everything. I do want to give you guys an update on the house. Um, I'm about to move in my home next week. So next week, just plan on uh, moving content, honestly, you guys. But um, this, I should have one more video before we move in. So be on the lookout for that nail video and i uh, can't wait for you guys to see the new nail room but if you have not done so already make sure you subscribe to the channel for more nail videos and reviews on nail kits like this one and i will see you guys in my very next video